selection from the book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, by my boy Deepak Chopra. Now, before you decide on anything, you have to listen to your voice within. And before you can manifest any success in your life, you're going to have to look first on the inside. And so I'm going to share a little quote from this book on the law of pure potentiality which is the first law of success, and it states, The source of all creation is pure consciousness, pure potentiality seeking expression from the unmanifest to the manifest. And when we realize that our true self is one of pure potentiality, we align with the power that manifests everything in the universe. And what does that mean, people? That basically means that within you, you hold the key to unlimited, unlimitedness, that within you there is a seed of pure potential, that it can grow and it can flourish into anything that you choose to become. Now, the law of pure potentiality is basically stating this, that everything springs forth from eternal creation, and you being a part of creation, you are a part of that force field, a part of that energy source. You exist as a source of energy. And since you are networked and connected to everyone else in this field of pure potentiality, you also exist in the realm of all possibilities. So, basically, everything depends on your thoughts and your thought patterns and what you believe. If you set yourself up negatively, if you say, well, I can't succeed at this, I won't succeed at this, the law of pure potential will basically just reaffirm what you just, just told yourself because you're existing in a, a field of pure, undifferentiated consciousness, meaning that it is your thoughts, what you choose to think, that makes up your reality. The law of pure potentiality is that, is that untapped field, that untapped source of energy that we're all connected to and that we are all interconnected within. Whether you want to call it God, Allah, Buddha, Brahma, it doesn't matter what you call it, what you name it. The fact is that we're all connected to that source, and that source is unlimited. And though different quant quant quantitatively, you are unlimited also in, in what you choose to become. It's kind of like that peaceful lake that is just peaceful and still. And the minute you drop a pebble in it, you see ripples come out. Well, that's just like you with your thoughts. If you drop a pebble in that lake, your thoughts will ripple out into the universe. And those rippling effects will therefore vibrate things back to you. Now, if you were to take that peaceful lake and let's say you dropped a 747 in it, <clears throat> imagine, wow, you're talking about a massive explosion of energy. Same thing with your thoughts. So... You know, you have to be careful the way you think. You have to think positively because these things ripple out. This is what the law of pure potential states, that you are the one that basically has the potential to be all that you can be, to do all you can do and have all you can have based on what you send out, what you put into that peaceful lake, your mindset. If you have a turbulent mindset, the waters are going to be choppy and it's going to be crazy. It's going to be chaos. If you think peaceful thoughts and you say, I am an entrepreneur, I am successful, um, I'm achieving success every day, whatever you choose to tell yourself, I, I will become the entrepreneur that I want to be. Anything positive, you will send that ripple out in the field of pure potentiality. So guys, I just wanted to give you this little tidbit of information, and I'm actually going to be doing a seven-day series on this book by Deepak Chopra called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, and each day I'll give you another um, spiritual law, and I'll basically just put my own spin on, on it and expound on it. So anyway, fellow entrepreneurs and fellow network marketers, remember to keep your thoughts as positive and as pure as possible in the field of all possibilities because it is a possibility that you can become the next Cedric Harris or the next Tracy Walker.
for the next Norbert always. It's all up to you. And that possibility does exist for you, no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what your environment tells you. That exists for you. All right, guys, you have a great night, and I will see you on the next video. Good night, and be well. Bye-bye.